Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste and this is From Far Out. It feels so good to say that again. It's been a couple months. I have been racing my mind. Um, we've just been out doing other things than filming. It's all a part of a process. So anyways, I'm so happy to be here with you again. Um, you know, just because I wasn't filming the hauls doesn't mean I wasn't hauling the hauls. So I have a ton of crystals here. Well, actually not a ton, maybe 15, 20. Um, and then some big ones. So let's jump into all of that. I wanna show you all of the crystals that I've been buying in a couple of months. Just have a little chitty chat with you guys. Just be back in this moment, in this space. I feel like I need to do a bit of a cleanse because like I sit here all the time like this is my little table. This is a new setup actually, you have never seen this. This is my little table where I do magic. <laughs> um, it's cute, right? Let me, ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyways. And then the shelves around me are all like my crystal collection and I'm slowly, that one's not done at all, but I have like four shelves down here that are all like, you see that? Organized like that with the little, these, and it has like the crystal on it and the location. I'm trying to, I'm trying to overvalue, not overvalue, um, appropriately value the piece that I have because I have some really amazing pieces and before I just kind of had them all sitting on a shelf um, and remembering the names of them and remembering the place that they are from got very difficult. So now it's all written down and I encourage you all to do that with your crystals as well. Hold the value in your pieces. Anyways, I want to get ones with like glass doors something bougie, but I have so many that I would need like 400 of them. And for now, this one works fine because I can squish them all together and they take up less space. Anyways, let's jump into these crystals. Let's start with my little braces here because I don't often wear braces. I feel weird with them on. I don't know, I don't, uh, I wanna do a cleanse first. But we can talk about braces too. So while I'm burning this, let me show you these two. So I got these both from Om Shanti. You're gonna see throughout this haul that I literally only shot from like two maybe three places and it's because it takes a lot for me to trust somebody to sell me a crystal because when I get these crystals they become so important to me and I just want to make sure that they're coming from the right places from the right people from the right vibes if you know what I mean um so yeah it took me a long time to even branch out from like the one shop, but now now we now we're at two and and a little sprinkle of randoms in the middle just to test stuff out. Anyways, um, I'm gonna burn a little bit of white buffalo sage. I did this earlier because um, we have a chihuahua whom I love. However, if y'all have a chihuahua or have a friend that has a chihuahua, when they get old <laughs> um, and their teeth start to fall out just like as a natural reaction to life, they start to be kind of stinky. <laughs> like their breath is pretty stinky. So when he's like over there licking and doing what he needs to do, or when Hunter gets him all like hyped up and he's like jumping around, um, the breath permeates in the room. <laughs> and Hunter doesn't mind it because he's had dogs his whole life, but my family, we were always just cat people. So, not used to doggy breath. But anyways, here you guys want some? Okay, back to Bracey. So I got these both from Om Shanti. This is a Rudraksha seed. And I believe these are five. Yeah, fives. Five, five refers to the, the fragments in which the seed is broken up into. I think there's up to nine i don't want to speak on it i know that five is like the most common one and then i got this emerald one um i super recommend om shanti for their jewelry but bracelets in specific oh i forgot something i'll have to get it from my room hold on um yeah super cute emerald bracelet they always have like because they make most of them themselves or have like um other hand makers make them for them um so they always have like super cool and interesting ones with like really cool beads like I want to say crystals or beads um but really cool I'm zooted by the way if you didn't know I do all of my holes elevated okay um so beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> they make really cool bracelets and they have really cool beads um <laughs> that are 
interesting. They have a purple sapphire one that I'm like lusting after. Um, I don't even know if they actually still have it on the table. I've been kind of like, no, don't even look. Don't even look. Just because I've, I've been buying too much. Um, but it's super beautiful and super lovely. And this one is not new. I bought that one many moons ago. Um, but this is a pyrite nugget. They had pyrite, tum uh, like the the perfect like circles that are like carved. Um, and these are carved too, but they're kind of like random shapes. Like kind of pentagon-ish. I don't know. But yeah, those are my braces that I got from them. And let me go grab the thing that I just remembered to be out. Okay, so this is the other piece of jewelry that I got from Om Shanti. This is an azurite uh, pendant that Anthony um, actually just wrapped in this gold. And it's a really cute like evil eye pendant. I really, really love it. Super protective. And it came on a different necklace, but it was super long. And I just wanted this to sit closer um, to my throat, obviously. So I put it on something shorter. Um... But yeah, I love it so much. I've been wearing it almost every single day. I forgot it because I usually just like have it on. Like I sleep and shower with this shit on all the time. Anyways, I wanted to go for a green vibe today. This is green apophyllite and I've had this crystal for so long, but I just, I just picked up wire. <laughs> um, I, by that, I mean, I watched one YouTube tutorial and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I can do this in my free time. Um, so I've been taking all my little tiny crystals and making them into necklaces for myself. And this is a green appetite that I got from Sunny a long time ago. This was also on a different chain but i wanted it shorter so made it shorter anyways let's jump into actual crystals okay so let's do yeah let's do all the ones from om shanti first and then we'll talk about the ones that i got from temple of aqua which is sunny um <laughs> i like to pretend that the people that i send money to like buy things from are also my friends <laughs> so we're friends <laughs> but only in the way that like i buy things from them um, anyways, Om Shanti. Okay, so yesterday, actually, that's what inspired me to do this haul. And I do have one more box coming, but we'll just do that in a separate video. Uh, I just wanted to get back to you guys as quickly as I could. So yesterday, I got a small haul from Om Shanti, and it had this emerald bracelet in it. And this is the first crystal that I got yesterday. This is African Bloodstone. It has some really beautiful red jasper in here, along with some, like, crazy pyrite lines and layers. Look at the layers of that jasper. Isn't that amazing? It's like a pyramid in there. And then there's some pyrite in the tip and like sprinkled all over the place. It is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't have any African bloodstone. Um, I have Australian dragons, but are those related? I think they are. They're both jaspers and they both have red jasper in them. So I think they're related just from different places and obviously with different inclusions and stuff because like dragon stone and uh, bloodstone and stuff those are all just like trade names for mixtures of different minerals and materials anyways this is super beautiful as you all know I'm usually a uh, raw crystal person but this point just was something else it is so beautiful so I love having this on my desk specifically when I'm like actively doing something and I really need to reach into that place of like focus and effort and energy and be here and do this um, it's a really great working stone. They had two, and I almost got the second one for my husband. Uh, I hate my little arm vagina. If you see me covering that, don't look. No, you didn't. <laughs> um, anyways, I almost got one for my husband for, like, his work desk at work, because he has, like, super bad ADHD, and um, his mind just goes a mile a minute all the time, so I think something like this would be really great for folks with ADHD. <sighs> Did y'all miss the singing? Uh, you know what I haven't done in a long time? The British accent. If you've been around a while, you know about the accent. And she has not been making an appearance as often. I think we're growing. I think we're healing, you guys. Um, anyways, the second crystal that I got in that box is... Can you all guess what this is? It is a Blue Smoke Colombian Lemurian. Um, it is very difficult to catch the blue uh, in the camera because it is, it is quite a faint blue. Like, it's not... Um, it's not like a blue Tara or like um, feathered blue quartz or whatever those are called. Um, it's blue smoke. So it's like very, very light. But in person, it's a lot easier to tell um, and see the blue in there. But it's so gorgeous. And I love raw Lemurian vibes. It just feels so nice. And I've been like super attracted to blues lately. And you'll see more of those in here. But yeah, I've just been feeling like the blue throaty um, energy uh, as I'm kind of like finding my place in the world I I sort of like connect um my rising sign like that rising energy of like the, the what you put forth into the world I kind of connect that to my throat chakra and like that idea of self-expression oh my god I, this 
I have a neighbor who has a motorcycle and he every single day at this time he's like yeah let me rev it I gotta let everybody know I'm going out right now so annoying bro just going for an afternoon motorcycle stroll Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> okay, continue with Om Shanti. Now these, I was looking at my shelf to look for pieces that I hadn't shown you and I went back to my YouTube channel and I was like, okay, what was the last haul that I did? And I do not remember if I have shown these to you before. So if you have seen them, I am so sorry. I will brush them pretty quickly, but I, they were just too cool to like not be sure um, and just show you twice anyway. So these are fluorites. So this one's more of a pinky purple fluorite and this is more of a purpley purple fluorite. This one on camera almost looks more pink than it does in person. It's got kind of a deep um, deep violet and then a much more lighter rosy uh, pink in there. These are super, super beautiful. I always love fluorite floaters, even if they're not like the perfect like square shape because these are etched and I think these were probably etched by water. Um, yeah, it's just super fucking cool. And I love this one. It has a little bit of, I think, I think think it's barite on there but i'm i'm not 100 percent certain it's not too much i'm trying to get it to focus for y'all so you can see um but yeah these are super cool fluorite another great one for like focus and energy but um i really like these like soft quiety vibes kind of like kind, it's kind of giving like inner peace i want to say but like in the mind and in the heart and like anyways anyways <laughs> Um, okay, more on Shanti. I think that actually meant... Oh, no, I'm lying. There's two more. Um, I am the kind of person who... With Sunny, I keep an open box because she lives so far away and the shipping is so expensive. But with Om Shanti, I'm just like, just ship it to me now because it takes like three days to get here and it's super cheap to ship. Anyways, so the next two that I also got from Om Shanti, um, this is Golden Mica. Isn't that like the sickest thing you've ever seen? It's... It's rare to find mica this like um, stable in, without um, being like polished or, or carved in any way. This is just like the layers that it grew in and it's kind of like a, uh, I, I kind of see like a dragon head and like his scales and stuff, but you could also see like a wing, like an angel wing. And look, see, this is why it's hard to find. See, see that layer coming out? Mica, I don't want to mess with it too much because it is very, very delicate, but I love this golden mica. Um, he's super, super beautiful. And then another, I, I've been uh, attracted to creatures. I don't know if you can see actually. Um, on my little table here, you see this little section here? These are all like different creatures. These guys, turtle, cloud, turtle. This raw one that kind of looks like a whale to me. Um, these are my little guys, my little guys. And I haven't... Am I really doing this? <laughs> I have another little section of guys here. I have this turtle and like an angel and then the rest are also guys, but but they don't look like guys. They just, the vibes are guys. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all got guys. Anyways, <laughs> the other guy I have is this uh, orange calcite dolphin. He's so sunny and so pretty. And I just, I just, I'm so attracted to orange calcite carvings because of that like super bright orangey color but i just thought a dolphin was the perfect um energy for orange calcite just that like freedom and joy and like you know the refreshing sense of a splash you know what i mean i love i've been getting really into dolphins the kind of like between two worlds water and air vibes um maybe it's just because the moon has been in gemini as of late um but yeah love it okay so now let's go to the one random shop that I shopped from. Um, sometimes I do this, like I said, I like to like really follow the shop for a long time, see like what their specialties are, what things they focus on and try to discern sort of maybe where they get their crystals from, um, different like sellers and stuff. And also like just their own vibe, who they are. If they have a personal Insta, I like to follow it and just know, um, just know what kind of person they are um, and supporting the right small businesses. Anyways, um, so this piece of smoky quartz with smoky quartz with spessartine uh, garnet on it is the piece that I got from the Eclectic Collections. She's really sweet. This is my first time ever buying anything from her, and I just got this one crystal. It's so pretty. Um, she is based in. I know she was in North Carolina recently, but I don't think she's from there. In any case, she's in the states. Um, and so, of course, the shipping the shipping was super expensive, 
and I trusted her because she had a website um, and yeah, it was a good transaction, a really cute crystal. That's my review. She has like so many other things. For my first purchase, I just wanted to get one thing like just in case because um, you never know. You never really know. Anyways, she also had a lot of pyrite suns that I was like, mm, do I want that too? Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on her shop and you guys should go check her out too. Uh, tell me what you think. Is there anything you're spying? Okay, let's get to, um, let's get to, let's get to, let's get to the, the stuff from Temple of Aqua, formerly known as the Scorpeling Shop. Um, I feel like I say that weird, Scorpeling, Scorpeling, anyways. Um, so these two my golden mica is just like in the way i put these in a thingy already um because they're just too pretty not to so this is just some more fire opal and i definitely showed you the smaller one that i had gotten a couple hauls back on my channel i think um super cute super beautiful i just started with one to sort of like feel the vibe but i like totally fell in love so i had to go back for two more um like bigger ones so that other one the smaller one i actually wrapped it and turned it to a necklace for myself um, but these two I have on display because they're just so beautiful and I did a grid with this and two other pieces that I'll show you um, when they first came and the vibes just all fit so immaculately. Um, so yeah, Fire Opal, super love that. Kind of working with that like home hearth abundance vibe. We love Fire Opal for that. I've been really getting into opals and Sunny also had some blue opals. She actually had these for a while and I was never really into them. And then she put them on sale and I was like, yeah, of course I love a deal. So I'm going to get them. But um, <laughs> I love a deal. So I'm going to get them, period. But then when they came, um, I was excited to have them in my collection. You know, it's something that I don't have. Um, just sort of adds to my blue vibe. But when they came, I was like, oh my God, these are amazing. Um, they just like feel super... <sighs> I don't want to like because you get into that like blue chalcedony vibe like lace um agate vibe where it's just like very peaceful and calm but these have like that sense of peace but in like a deeper sense like um like being in the center of chaos and just knowing that like you can still maintain peace because peace is within as opposed to creating peace as an environment does that make sense anyways these are super beautiful um if you are in a um if you are in a life situation, an environment that is toxic or just difficult to thrive in and you can't get out as quickly as you want to or um, it's just something that you kind of have to endure and then things will move forward later on, I totally recommend some blue opal because these, I'm not in that situation, like don't worry about me, I'm okay. Um, but amidst raising two one-year-olds uh, like home alone every day, it gets a little chaotic and I can't always control, like releasing control of chaos. Yeah, that's the vibe. Releasing control of chaos, letting chaos be chaos and knowing that like my peace, my vibes, my chillness is still within me and I still have the ability to thrive and survive through it without having to change it. You know what I mean? Experience it without feeling the need to change it. Anyways, blue opal, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um, two more smallies left and then we get into the big boys okay so this is the other ones that um these are two pieces of green tourmaline and then a bluey tourmaline it's actually kind of bi color i did show this one to you because i got them at separate times but i just have them all here so yeah that's the uh the bluey green one and then the other two are just uh green these are super beautiful so these two green tourmalines um I, there's actually a third one but i have it in a, my little offering bowl over here um, because I did a really cool grid with these the fire opals and then one of the big boys down there. <laughs> Just because they all fit that sort of like growth, light, abundance vibe. Um, so I was like, let's just make this happen. It just felt right um, in that moment. Okay, last smally guy is this um, Montana Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz from Montana. I literally got it because of the locality. Um, it's super pretty. It has some feldspar on the back, but I really like this right here where it's, you can kind of like see there's a core and then a dark part and then the point is like clear. Is that, is that reading on camera? Anyways, and there's also these very sparkly, uh, bits of mica all over it, which is very cool. Ooh, and I'm noticing some rainbows. Yeah, I love this. It's super funny that it got shipped from a miner in Montana up to sunny in Canada and then sunny in Canada sent it down to me in Montana. Um, Anyways, yeah, super beautiful. I love it so much. 
Um, she has more and I'm thinking about getting more, but we need to put a pause on the buying crystals for now. Okay. That being said, <laughs> no, let me show you this one first. Um, so this one, um, wasn't terribly expensive. She was doing, Sunny was doing some amazing, crazy cuckoo bananas deals. Um, and I fucking had to scoop this up. So this is a Trollite sphere. It is incredibly gorgeous. Trollite is not often, um, in a, in, um, piece this big it is often carved because it's not a very pr I don't want to say it's not pretty but it's just a, a very like um it doesn't crystallize it stays in big chunks and because the the aesthetic of the big chunks is not always super nice anyways people carve it a lot you'll find lots and lots and lots of cholite carvings but it's actually quite rare, rare to find it raw anyways I thought this was so beautiful. This black part here kind of reminds me of like, you know when you see um, like killer whales swimming in a circle? I really got just like mother of the sea vibes from this. Um, and so pretty, I love it so much. Um, and it was only, you guys, I don't usually say the prices on here because A, I forget, but also I don't want it to be like, I don't want to associate crystals with cost. Um, but this was only 250 Canadian dollars. If you're American, that's like probably, 180 under 200 us isn't that cuckoo that's crazy i literally when i saw it on the table um because this was in her personal collection and so every so often she um gets rid of some of her personal collection pieces and i'm like yeah give me all of them because they're always the best anyways i saw this on the table and i was like oh my god that is so gorgeous i love it so much it's gonna be like 500 dollars. we can't do 500 dollars right now um but then she said 250 and i was like done <laughs> i'll take it for 250 right now ma'am um so yeah super happy about that one uh, i actually can't fit that on my table because it's so large and then okay so this piece this is the last piece of the um haul today thank you so much for spending your time with me but this is the most amazing piece ever quick backstory with this one so um maybe three or four years ago, I've been shopping this thing for a long time, a couple of years ago, um, she had bought this big giant piece of smoky quartz and she had like for her as a personal collection piece. And I was like, hey girl, I love it. Please let me buy it. I will do anything. So it was incredibly expensive. And at the time me and my husband were just dating and he helped me pay for it. And I was like, oh my God, that's so nice of you. Um, so that it's always been just kind of like a special piece for us because up until now, that piece was the highest investment piece in my collection. Um, sometimes I buy things as investment pieces because minerals hold their value on the market. Um, so quick tip if you see a really interesting material for a really inexpensive price maybe scoop it <laughs> and add to your personal assets <laughs> anyways now we're telling you to shop anyways so she bought that big smoky quartz and i was like girl let me buy it please and so i bought it and then she, later she was like yeah at um my whatever uh like wherever supplier minor whatever <laughs> they also had this other quartz that was incredible and I was picking between the two and I got that smoky quartz and then when I bought that smoky quartz from her she she went and got this and I was like oh my god I love it too but that was many years ago it stayed in her personal collection she was like absolutely not this is so important to me and then recently she put it on her website because you know we all have goals people change life develops and changes and I'm like yeah let me scoop it up so so now this piece the one that she bought right after that smoky quartz is now the highest investment in my personal collection so this mamma jamma is a golden rutile quartz this is all completely raw and natural there is no polishing or anything of course i won't be able to get it in this lighting but it is chock full of rainbows there's like another growth here and this is where like the most of the golden rutile is and it just sprays throughout the whole thing it is so so gorgeous i'm trying to get it without like the um the the ring light glare but it is so beautiful and this golden rutile is actually really really interesting because if you can see it's kind of like it looks like there's like it's like waving like wet hair you know like when you're underwater and it just kind of like flows i think she called it 
go my cat <laughs> golden strings of heaven because it really just feels like this like flowy hair golden hair in the quartz where you as you see in other um rutile specimens i'm trying to look and see if i have any here oh yeah i have a red rutile specimen here you see how it's like straight and like um and just goes in in like a really straight direction this one is like way more wavy and cool so yeah we love her i have a baby that is waking up from his nap so i am going to go get him but thank you so 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 much for spending time with me today i love being with you um and come visit me again if you want to talk more about crystals and spirituality and all of the land-based things um i love you and i will see you again soon